Hey folks, welcome to another unboxing video. I'm a really lucky bastard. Today um, I got this watch already. Really highly and long anticipated um, Seiko watch. And I put already new pants on her. I'm in Japan right now, as you might know from some of my other videos. Um, and yeah, so what can I say? Um, I'm already into traditional knives a little bit more. I like still my Spyderco's, as you can see in my Spyderco homage video. Um, why I think they are for me the best EDC knife company. However, um, being a greenwood carver and uh, overall outdoors and woodsman, um, I have another company that I really like and whenever I stumble upon them, um, yeah, what can I say? I can't really I look up videos and I just look up knives coming out and being available and stuff for too long every day. So carrying my Spyderco UKPK here in Japan for some legal reasons. And this one here would be also I think fitting into this legal category here in Japan. What do we have here? Oh, I'm so stoked, people. Uh, yeah, so uh, what can I say? I was searching really long for this, um, or not for this in particular, but for a knife that fits um, my taste and my wallet. And what we have here is a 6.5 I have problems reading that I think that's supposed to mean 6.5 1 sorry guys I really don't know what it means um, um, Antique Autumn Cheekbone um, number 65 pattern of what you can see here GEC Northfield Unexcelled Line the number 65 pattern. I'm so stoked. And finally, I'm getting to open wax paper in front of the camera. Ah, I can see it already shining through. Ooh, this is sweet. Nice wax paper to give it a smell. Folks, this is really, really sweet. I can't really describe how sweet this is right now. I think, me personally, I think there is by far not enough knives out there with long pulls, with decent blade steel. And um, I just want to tell you, before I open this up and talk about it for a second, uh, I just want to tell you how I got to this. Um, I had a GEC a while ago, a number 72 pattern lockback um, trapper, I think. But please don't um, quote me on that. Um, it was this number 72 pattern and um, it was during my time in, in Canada, I had it shipped there, I was working on a ranch, um, had a good time with it. However, the lockback always has a, this slight little bit rattle that is to be expected from this kind of um, traditional lockback and coming, being an Austrian myself, I grew up with Swiss army knives with nail nicks and I just, despite being extremely practical, I just don't like the look. The nail nick look is for me something extremely, I just don't like it, you know, it's a taste thing, it's something I don't like. So I saw those long pulls a while ago um, coming out and I just couldn't or didn't want to afford knives with a long pull at the time. And uh, I just really thought they are extremely nice and very, very badass. Um, yeah, so I was starting to look for knives with these long pulls. and. After seeing a lot of reviews, I also wanted to have a single bladed knife. Um, I might want to get another one or two of these in the future, very near future, that I might not find in a single bladed version. However, I really wanted to get a single bladed one just for not having a second blade in there where the tang actually would stick out and would just bother me using it. Because I'm a user, I'm not a collector. I have all those knives daily in my pockets and I use them. And um, yeah, I don't get... Um, 
collecting knives and save queens and stuff like that. I just don't want to afford that, you know. Um, I want to get stuff I can use. I described it always in my watch videos as well. Um, as um, I don't want to get anything that gives up or gives in before I do. And um, I want to use this stuff that I get. So uh, I wanted to get also a knife that is a little bit longer. All right, that fills the hand. I'm a very big fan of the Endura 4 by Spyderco. It's a four inch um, blade, a little bit over four inch handle. It should, you know, it should be fitting my hand like like you can see here and nice perches on the knife. Um, however, like three and a half inches, I think is really the smallest I would go for this kind of knife. You know, I have smaller knives, but that's a different story. Um, so yeah, the, the choice wasn't too big, you know, like a lot of, blades to come with like knives that come with one blade is either a lockback and I just said before why I didn't want to have a lockback I really wanted to have a slip joint legal reasons too you know in some countries a lockback might be a problem um the next thing would be I wanted to have a long pull you know and this the swedge I mean it's extremely badass and then you know I just got picky actually the unexcelled kind of shield is not what I wanted I kind of wanted to have the other um, cloudy shield that doesn't have the unexcelled on which is I think as well in north field but just a different line but you know this kind of knife with that cloudy shield would come with a like nail nick without a swedge blah 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 and when I first saw this Ben Hogan here I actually didn't even want to get it I thought it looks a little bit nerdy and I really wanted to get the Mako or something like that but somehow with the different dealers and what was available at the time I just couldn't find um, the kind of type, like kind of um, blade I wanted. I actually would like to have, like, wanted to have something with a butt cap. But I saw some reviews on this one and why the, why the bolster is so long and um, how it gives the knife more stability and just it grew on me extremely much. And I went back forth, in fact, back and forth between the wooden version and this version here. Um, I think the wooden version had the cloud shield and not the unexcelled. Um, but after seeing some reviews about some different types of bone, and I'm still waiting to get the smooth bone version of, of a GC knife, I really, really wanted to... Sorry, I think it focused now. Um, I really, really wanted to get one in bone as well. And then I chose it from TSA Knives. Um, think that's um, the company's name very good service very quick even here to Japan it only took a week to arrive and um, yeah sorry like some family stuff going on in the background um, yeah I, I hope you can tell how smooth and how sweet and how deep this bone is um it's actually a lot nicer this some um, autumn bone is it's really wonderful I love it I love it more than I thought um it um, has some a lot of yellows in it, red, oranges. It's it's amazing. Some brown tones, very deep. A lot nicer than um, the red cheekbone I have on my 72 pattern. The cheeking is a lot nicer here. The other one actually had a kind of like tear out somewhere. Yeah. So let's finally open it. I did never really. Oh, nice pull. Oh, is this a sweet pull? Oh my goodness. Didn't want to get a polished blade and I didn't want to get um, actually the the etching on the blade. But I tell you something, um, I think this kind of blade is going to look so sweet after getting some pattern on it. And that's the thing. This is a knife that I really want to build up a pattern on very, very soon. So um, the shininess and the edging is not going to bother me too long because it's just going to be covered in a beautiful patina. And another reason I wanted to get this blade, I mean, like, look at my hands and this blade here. This is this is good for anything. This is the amazing thing about this pattern, I think, and about the Mako and some bitter, bigger, I'm sorry, some bigger trappers and stuff like that. You can use them in the kitchen. Um, you know, they have long enough blades and slender blades that to do anything for you. I mean, you want to skin something, you want to, um, you know, take it for fishing, if you don't mind the, the funny um, smell of the carbon steel sometimes. Um, it doesn't really, you know, 
there's not really anything this blade can do and that's why I'm really thinking about getting another pattern I never really liked before which is the muskrat you know the muskrat blade being a greenwood carver I can really see how this muskrat blade would be a nice whittler and actually can see how this one would be a nice whittler um, one thing I hope I notice now that I open it um, and I guess some um, this really depending on what kind of of knife you get from this line um, by the way the centering is pretty decent like there's no rubbing by far it, it's a little bit off to the left but just really not a lot at all um, cool thing this is pinchable and the long pull is long enough that it actually gives it a nice leverage nice half stop really really nice nice snap walk and talk is awesome as you can hear and walk and talk is really nice smooth half stop is with authority yeah opening with authority sweetest sweetest um something i noticed here this um the back spacer uh no sorry not the back spacer spacer you see i'm coming from modern knives um this back spring is not a hundred percent flush and we're having a little bit of a gap going on here not really gap you know I, it's just um not a hundred percent smooth here and there definitely finger catches on the on the spring but hey I guess um even from this north field which ran me probably what was it 80 bucks 80 80 dollars from this north field line up to um, the really high-end knives there's another big step so um, I guess when it's closed um, no catching completely flush half stop oh, half stop is not nice at all actually you can tell how much and here we have a tiny little bit doesn't bother really sweet didn't think it gonna be so nice in hand um this little choil here really comes in handy in any possible direction you know this is not a tactical knife i'm also not a really you know tactical knife person but um the whole idea about it however um this one is really nice in every position the handle being slender and slim really helps with that and yeah just another look here this really sweet bone with a lot of depth in it polish is nice came oiled out of the box came sharpish out of the box too a lot better than my um 72 pattern i got before tip is okay as you can see there's a tiny little bit of um how can i describe that just has a little bit of a funny curve at the end, but all good. Traditional folder. Swatch is sweet, completely even, actually. The back here, the stock, is not completely straight, actually. There is a funny little... Can you... Maybe you can catch it. Can you see the line here? A little bit of a funny grind going on long pull is really sweet um here let's have a look at the tang gc titus will iron works there it says 65 1115 so it's 65 one bladed number one style blade which is clip 2015 i think i mixed up the, the two ones after the 65 but who cares um pinched bolsters triple lined was another reason why i wanted to get this because that's actually a lot of 
classiness in a very decent priced knife. We have a no no capped end squared nicely rounded here and again nice look at the sweet autumn antique autumn cheekbone yeah guys uh i gonna be this video was a lot longer than i than i intended also a little bit funny camera setup here so i'm gonna be using this one and i'm gonna get a sweet pattern on it hopefully on this weekend going countryside here in japan and um yeah this is gonna be my everyday carry now it's probably gonna get a sweet pocket slip as i'm a leather worker that shouldn't be too much of a problem and um yeah i'm actually thinking about coming out with a small line of leather products um for this kind of slip joints um probably gonna be something like um easy pocket and belt carry stuff for like a little bit longer models like this one and then some shorter ones really nice half stop nice walk and talk it's a sweet blade um for the price i think you get um a lifetime of a sweet knife um, with a nice 90, um, 1095 blade steel, if um, you don't know about these, those are carbon steel. Yeah, um, and I think I, in my um, unpreparedness, I just um, said anything that came to my mind about this one. Sorry guys, it was really not a prepared video, um, but I was really stoked about this, so I probably kept them. Um, Cap just saying what came out of my head um yeah i'm um, probably update video about this one is gonna come sometimes and this this one is probably gonna get some classy brothers um thank you guys for tuning in today i hope um you like these um i hope you like my videos and how i make them still um everything a little bit new and a little bit clumsy behind the camera but yeah if you want to leave some feedback I would be awesome if you want to even subscribe that would be even awesomer and um yeah i'm gonna see you next time that's it from woodsman's finest bye